What is up guys, it's that Modern Warfare here, Gamertime Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is the finishing touches to the RGH 1.2 that I covered not so long ago on my channel. I did a three-part series on how to RGH 1.2 hack a Xbox 360 fat console. And in this video, I'm basically doing the finishing touches to that video, finishing up the console completely. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of other different things to it to make sure that it is just the best that it can be because uh, I am planning on probably selling it at the end so um, yeah that's the idea so first things first I'm just gonna desolder all the wires you can see it in the sped up footage I'm just doing this kind of time-lapse video of everything that I'm doing to this console so first things first is desoldering all the JR programmer wires because that's not needed anymore and um, yeah we'll basically just speed through this on all the different things that I'm doing to this console Okay, so what we're going to do here is basically swap out the green LEDs on the front of the console. We're going to swap that out for some blue and red LEDs. Okay, so now that that's finished and it's all working, the next step is to install some LED strips. We're going to go for blue and red LED strips along the sides of the console, make it look pretty awesome.
there we go guys, the LED strips installed, working perfectly fine. Alright, so the next step is to basically go ahead and flash the DVD drive. I want to flash the DVD drive to LT 3.0 so that uh, the console can play backup copied game discs as well. So the next step that we're going to do here is basically put the console back together now. That's the last, pretty much almost the last step. Just before um, I complete the whole thing, what we're going to do is, once the console has been put back together, is we're going to swap out the hard drive. I had a 20 gigabyte hard drive planned, but I found a laptop hard drive that is 320 gigabytes. So a big improvement in storage capacity. So I'm going to swap out that 20 gigabyte drive for a 360 gigabyte laptop hard drive, and then we'll that'll be it finished at that point.
Okay, that's it, finished results. So everything I did to this console, I'll just run over it really quickly. Uh, we went ahead and we changed the LED lights on the front to red and blue LEDs. Also added LED strips at the sides, red and blue LEDs. Um, then we went ahead and flashed the disk drive with LT Plus 3.0 so it can play backup copied game disks and swapped out the hard drive from a 20 gigabyte hard drive to a 320 gigabyte laptop hard drive I had going spare and yeah that's basically what has been done to this console so I'm gonna power it up oh also of course I've added all the homebrew stuff all set up on the hard drive so went ahead and did all that dash launch freestyle dash Aurora XM360 a bunch of other homebrew stuff is all on there too and all set up and ready with the dash launch paths and all that so here we go we'll power it up and uh, see what happens And there we go, pretty much an instant boot by the looks of things on that time. So the boot times are around about instant, between usually instant and three boot glitch attempts. So it's either going to be instant or three glitch attempts. There is the occasional time it'll take longer, maybe four or five glitch attempts, but most of the time it's between instant and three glitch attempts. Um, as for the LEDs, you saw that on the front, if I go on over and turn this, you can see got red LEDs, blue LEDs on the top kind of match the, um, the LEDs on the front there, looking pretty awesome. And uh, then of course you've got everything set up on the uh, system here. I've increased the fan speed a bit to 50% so that it's actually not that loud. 100% is far too loud. Even 80%, 70%, 65% is too loud. 50% fan speed is the sweet spot for me. It's not too uh, loud and it's not too low that it that it heats up too much um, and it's a Jasper motherboard so they don't heat up that bad anyway um, so yeah we've got everything set up here I've got Aurora set up everything set up I'll show you the flash disk drive as well here open this up and stick a uh, game in so a copied game as you can plainly see there it's Halo 4 disk 2 and uh, it should detect it as the actual disk so it spins up. There we go, as you can see there. So that's that working too. So yeah, pretty pretty awesome console, got all that stuff done to it. And um, yeah, took a while to do, but all in all I think the result is pretty damn awesome. So once again, I've got a uh, tutorial for everything I did in this video. So if you're confused about absolutely anything that I did in this time lapse is super quick um, going through everything I've got a full tutorial on everything changing the uh, flashing the disk drive the custom LED strips I've got a separate tutorial for that I've got a separate tutorial for the LEDs in the front I've got a tutorial for using a laptop hard drive as a 360 hard drive so yeah everything I did in this video and of course I've got JTAG tutorials for all the different homebrew stuff I've put on here like Freestyle Dash Aurora all that stuff. I'll put links in the description and maybe on screen as well right now for you guys to go and check out those tutorials if you're if you want to learn how to do any of this stuff. So yeah, all in all, a complete success for the RGH 1.2, and um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty oh, pretty I'm pretty uh, happy with the results. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and leave it a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions, and. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.